Sometimes all you need is a classical guitar and a melody in a minor key. Now you can listen to the instrumental. I'm gonna leave the um, link in the description down below. We only have three chords. When we think about it, it's crazy how expressive this melody is, considering that we are literally just playing three chords. I'm playing the A minor chord, a D minor chord, an E major chord. Now we are really playing the melody over each chord. We are emphasizing each single chord with the melody. For example, this is the A minor chord. We can break it down into two sections. The first one is played in open position. And I start with an A sus2, and then I put down the C on the fret number one with the bass. and I arpeggiate the chord. Now the second section will move across the neck. I'm throwing in the G sharp, which adds even more drama to the sound of the melody. So I have five and four, and then five again, seven, eight, and 10. For the D minor chord, we are playing a, a D minor chord on the fret number 10. It's a bar chord on fret 10. And the melody is uh, played on the fret 12. So we start with this beautiful major nine, always with the bass, then the bar chord, 12, and 13. It's really important that you arpeggiate each single note beautifully. The next chord, E major. A lot of drama right here. So we have 12 and 10. And then the bass, we're gonna play the E. And the melody is on fret number seven, starts on fret number seven in position seven, and then position four. So the fingering is the same. And we finish with the A minor chord. Beautiful sound, I love it. Now, just like the D minor chord, we can do the A minor with the bar on the fret number five. And the first string, fret number seven. The bass is on the A string and I PGA the chord. Then five, seven, and eight. This is the melody, but can I can also add one additional note. So it's seven and seven on first and third string and eight and nine on the first and third string. So far we have And we can repeat the same thing. I used a different color on the A minor chord. So when I played the fret five, I actually changed the bass note and played the third string open. Back to the D minor. And we finish with the A minor and E major chord.
to turn of Pedro, 12, 12, and 8. And then I'm playing the, the A minor triad in this position. And then the E major triad with 12 and 7, and then 9 and 9. And the A minor arpeggio from fret 5, 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, and 0. I like to play this melody in free tempo so I can adjust the speed based on each section. For example, I like to start slow on the A minor and then speed up as I'm going up the fretboard. We play the second section with different chords. So I'm going to open up with this F open triad and then E minor and A minor. There is a melody that opens up this section with E and G, and then we play the F major, E minor, A minor. Again, F major, G major. So I'm gonna move the same chord shape two frets up. And the A minor chord. Now for this A minor I am thinking A minor triad but the melody is on fret number eight, seven and then on fret number ten on the second string. Now the third time F major G A minor Melody, 12, 10, and 8. And we finally change chord, D minor. Melody in thirds, 5 and 6, 3 and 5, and 1 and 3. We go back up, and E major. same melody in thirds, it's four and five, five and seven, and seven and nine. And we'll go back to the main melody. a few differences with the instrumental so you have the tab for both instrumental and this lesson good luck with this melody guys let me know if you like it in the comment section down below and i'll see you next time